What's going on, everybody? It's your boy JP again. And, <clears throat> again, you can see that your boy got another hot one. That's right. I have here the LG Velvet. And um, this was uh, kind of a surprise. I wasn't really expecting to get this. And, um, man, um, it was either Saturday or Sunday. I just decided to pull the trigger on it, and it already came in today. And uh, as you can see from the manuals over there, this is the South Korean version. So it, it actually comes, this is the one that actually comes from, from you know, LG's uh, home, homeland, South Korea. Um, and uh, um, uh, before anyone asks, I'm not entirely sure about the 5G, but the 4G has all the bands, all the bands that you that that you could possibly need, with the exception of band 71. Um, and it may have that too. One thing I've noticed uh, with a lot of foreign Samsung phones is that they actually have had band 71, but they just didn't. They just don't have it advertised. Um, that was something I started seeing in Xiaomi devices a year or two ago where they weren't advertising Band 12, but they had it. Um, so, just uh, be mindful of that. Don't be surprised if it does have it. I, I really don't have a way of just specifically seeing if it has Band 71 until until it, you know, unless it's on it and I just happen to check uh, the LTE Discovery app, which is what I use to see what band I'm on. But even then, I, I don't typically use T-Mobile. I'm always using AT&T. So, you know, Band 71 doesn't really matter as much to me. Um, but it does have um, 66 to my knowledge. Um, I know for a fact it does have 12. Obviously, it has 17. It has uh, uh, 2, 4, 5. You know, uh, the ones that you, that you you know, really, you know, all of them for AT&T pretty much. A lot of people for AT&T, they always uh, ask about Band 30, but what they don't realize is Band 30 on AT&T is actually only used um, with hotspots. If you have standalone hotspots like your Nighthawks, they use Band 30, uh, but your phones do not. AT&T, for whatever reason, just uses Band 30 strictly for broadband access. Um, but you don't really need Band 30 in a phone. Um uh, and as far as T-Mobile, besides Band 71, it does have all of the frequencies that you need. Um, I'd be really surprised if 5G does not work. I have been very lucky, very successful uh, with uh, with 5G and foreign phones lately. The only phone that I've really had trouble getting 5G on recently, but it's also a different chipset than everything else, is the um, the, uh, the the probably one of my most favorite phones of the year. Uh, as I've raved about in the video I made for it, very long video I might add, the uh, the Dimensity 820 powered Redmi 10X 5G. Uh, as the Mi, the uh, the Mi 10 Lite 5G had five, guy got 5G here, and that has the same processor that this phone right here has, the L, you know the LG Velvet, the Snapdragon 765, um, and the uh, the uh, the Pogo. F2 Pro with the Snapdragon 865, I was also getting 5G, at least on AT&T anyways. And uh, the Red Magic 5G, which the one I had was actually the U.S. model. They just had the Chinese bands listed on the website, but that worked uh, on AT&T and T-Mobile 5G. Um, pretty sure this will as well. I, I just can't test it to confirm. If I have to make a separate video, I will, or I'll just go in the comments. I know a lot of times I forget about y'all in the comments too. I don't reply a lot of times, and I don't mean to not not pay attention. I'm going to try to get better about that. Obviously, I read them because that's how I found out that people really love my band talk, the talk you know about frequencies. People, I, I've, I, as I've said a couple of times already, I've, I've noticed that people specifically watch my videos because I talk about the frequencies and the, and the, and the LTE bands, etc., and uh, that was the feedback that I wanted because I wanted to always find my niche, you know, because... I know my videos, again, aren't, aren't as quality as other people's. I know they're not as in-depth. I don't really review the phones. That's why I call them just quick overviews. I don't even unbox them, you know, on the camera. You know, so um, I'm glad that I found that niche. So, obviously, I do read y'all's comments, you know, or I wouldn't have known that. Uh, 
I try to get better about my ums, my hesitations, <laughs> which is really sad because I'm really not a shy person. I do really good in, in crowds. Uh, my dream was always be a radio talk show host, but uh, but 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 with that, but with the hmm that I do, you <laughs> you never know it. Uh, I don't 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 quite know why I do that. I guess sometimes I talk so fast and uh, I try to catch up with myself. And the reason why I talk fast is you know because I try to make these as short as possible. Because again, no one wants to see a lengthy, boring video. I get that. Anyways, I think I've already made this boring enough. Back to the phone. LG Velvet. Here we go. Here's a f little rundown of the specs. Sleek and premium design. That it is. Easy creation camera. OLED cinematic full fit and man, it is beautiful. It is. It's almost a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. It's a it's a it's a 20.5 by 9. Very odd. And I love, 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 love the squarish design that this has. I'll get to that in a second here. It is IP68 rated, water and dust resistant. Um they pack some goodies in here too. Very, very good presentation here. You got the uh the LG fast charge with the USB type C cable, of course. The South Korean book, it's book blah. Booklets. They talk about LG Pay, SIM ejector tool, and a nice little zip, nice little baggie there. Um, it even comes with headphones, and these headphones are braided, and you get um, separate earpieces. Something that you don't see anymore. This seller I got off of eBay, very, very fast shipping. Was not the same guy that I got the Redmi 10X 5G from, but he was equally as fast because that Redmi came from Hong Kong, and this came from South Korea. Um, and this, this, this. I mean, he shipped it out like late Monday, late Monday, because he had to get back with me about the color because I wanted the sunset, which they didn't have. And uh, I switched my color to this emerald green, which was my second choice. And that was late Monday. And uh, I don't know how he did it, but I here we are Wednesday morning and I already got it from FedEx. But uh, so very pleased with the service. Very pleased. Don't mind the color change. I didn't ask to get any kind of compensation or some of the money refunded or whatever. I wasn't worried about all that. Um, always on display. Works beautifully on this phone. It does have the in-display fingerprint sensor. The screen is absolutely gorgeous in this phone, too. I mean, it is, it is beautiful. That um, that teardrop notch is... Uh, is um, th this, th this camera doesn't really do it any justice, honestly. Um... Because it, it's 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 smaller in real life. I know that I'm looking at it through the camera lens, and it and it looks it looks you know kind of on the well. No, I mean it's it looks a little bit smaller than average. I mean I hope you can see it anyways. It really is. Just you have to take my word for it. But I love the squarish design. It is curved. It does have a curved screen, a waterfall screen, as they're starting to call it now. Uh, you know, a lot of people know me. I'm not big on that. A lot of people that were big on it are starting to move away from that as well. Uh, does have your headphone jack, your Type C, your speaker. Uh, where's your volume rock? That's your power. Your volume rocker is over here. Yeah, volume rocker right there. Yep. Sorry for my fingernails, y'all. I know some people have complained about that too. I keep them clean. I'm just bad habit about cutting them. They just grow so fast, like my hair. But uh, there's your SIM tray, and it does take a micro SD expansion. Those that know me know I love SD micro SD expansion. Still, I'm still. Still like that very much. I know. I know a lot of you know. I, I know a lot of people may not be you know and whatnot, but I definitely am. I'm taking this phone away for a minute here as y'all look on everything else. There was something else I wanted to check. Well, I had to give me a second here. Y'all just want to see something here. Yep, yep, yep. Wanted to put this phone on a wireless charger right with the right behind me. This phone has wireless charging. <laughs> there you go. I, I, I was not entirely sure, but it does. It has wireless charging. That was news to me. News to me. Uh, it even has the dual screen capability, uh, like the LG V60. This phone is basically the V60, but what they've done is they've traded off the Snapdragon 865 for the Snapdragon 765. And uh, given the given the, uh, the 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 couple hundred dollar price difference, um. Uh, that's a that's a really good trade off, if you ask me. It's a really good trade off. I mean, it's it's still it's still on the higher side of of things. It still could be cheaper. Yeah. What I mean, what 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 can't what couldn't be cheaper? But uh, you know, you still get five G. Um, this phone is supposed to release in the U.S. at seven hundred, and that includes the dual screen. Uh, you can't beat that, really, because seven hundred is the same price for the galaxy a seventy one five g which came out last week on t mobile and sprint and it's coming out next week on a t and t 
I was actually going to get that, but I ended up canceling that pre-order for the AT&T model to get this, because this I was able to get for the same price. Actually cheaper, given tax and shipment I was paying on the Samsung. And I got this faster, too, because I wouldn't have gotten that until next Tuesday. And here we are, uh, July 1st, uh, Wednesday, you know, six days sooner. And uh, for $700, this is a better phone. It really is. Uh, you know, the Galaxy A5, A71 5G, Snapdragon 765. For those that don't know, the U.S. version is getting the Snapdragon, not the uh, not the Exynos 980. It's getting the Snapdragon 760, so 765, I'm sorry, with, uh, with 5G capabilities. But it's $700. And, uh, you know, and that's, you know, that's it. It's, uh, you know, the Samsung is a 6.7-inch flat AMOLED. This is actually a 6.8-inch AMOLED. Um, they did kind of take something out of Samsung's book with the with the curve, which the A71 5G does not have. <laughs> um, coincidentally enough, uh, funny how they just kind of swapped the rows there. Um, but then again, Samsung didn't commonly put their curved screen... Um, uh, they didn't typically do the... Their, put their curved screens on phone on their on their lower end phones anyways their phones that weren't you know flagships you know your galaxy s's or galaxy notes um and of course they've been making them more subtle even on those now anyways so they're kind of moving away from that and, and i do prefer the flat i, I would have if i could get this 6.8 inch screen on this phone with that with the flat amoled on the on the samsung that would that would be my that would be my go-to honestly but the curve on this is very subtle, just like it actually is on the Galaxy S20 that I had earlier this year. Um, you can see it there. And uh, for 700 for 700 this is a better deal. I mean, you're getting the same exact chipset, the same, the same amount of RAM, same kind of RAM. Uh, they both have expandable memory. Uh, they're both OLEDs. The screen on this, if you don't care about the curve, is actually a little bit bigger, 6.8 inch versus 6.7 now, I know that's not a big difference, uh, but I think, you know, th this has wireless charging. The Samsung does not. So to a lot of people, that's actually going to be huge, huge. What's huge to me is the dual screen capability. And again, in the U.S., when this comes out for 700, it's supposed to have the dual screen with it. So, I mean, you know, I mean, that and the wireless charging, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, to my knowledge, the Samsung does have the the, the headphone jack, which this, this phone does too. I'd be surprised if that one doesn't. Uh, so I'm not going to count or not count that, etc. But uh, but yeah, I mean, um, um, this is this is a good deal for the same price. It, it, I mean, I mean, seven hundred seven hundred is going to be high to a lot of people. You know, for seven, you know, for, I mean, for 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 five hundred, you can get a Pogo F2 Pro with the Snapdragon eight sixty five and the pop up camera. You know, but it's not officially sold in the U S. 5G does work on AT&T, though. So, I mean, you know, that, that, that's a huge plus for that phone. You know, low band. Keep in mind, I'm not talking about um, uh, millimeter wave. I'm specific, you know, when I talk about 5G, I'm specifically talking about low band. Um, you know, uh, uh, AT&T's 850 hertz, uh, megahertz frequency. Um, you know, another phone that this is going to really compete with is the upcoming, Motor the standard Motorola um, Edge, not the Edge Plus, but the but the Edge. I'll let y'all take a look at this here while I'm yapping here. It's all of your screens here. It does have your gestures. It, it's actually set to your to your gestures by default, but I set it to 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 the, to the old school buttons here. This is what what I actually prefer. I don't the Android Android just doesn't do the gestures as good as the iPhone. The iPhone I I, I can do it, you know. Uh, but Android is just not as good to me for some reason. But uh, I'll let y'all check out the body of this phone here too. It, I mean, it's real slick, man. It's definitely a fingerprint magnet, but it's just a gorgeous phone altogether. I actually prefer, actually like this design more than the V60. Um, and again, it's just a, it's just a slightly downgraded chipset, and I do mean slightly because the Snapdragon 8, the 765 is no slouch. I mean, you know, it's there's not a single game or a single setting in a game that the Snapdragon 865 can do. That the 765 can't do. It might load a second faster, and that's it. Seriously, save yourself the money. I mean, I mean for real. Um, I'm very, very pleased with this with this velvet. It is super thin too. It does have a little camera hump? Not much. They have the they have the the, the camera set of like a like like little like like water droplets. It's a triple camera with the flash in the bottom. I don't know the exact. 
uh, megapixels and which one's what. I do know it has an ultra wide. I do know that. I don't think it has a macro. Um, Y'all know cameras are my weaknesses. Um, But another phone that this is going to go, that this is going to compete directly with is the Motorola Edge. And just yesterday it was announced that it will be sold in the U.S. unlocked. It would not be a Verizon exclusive like the Edge Plus. The standard Edge will be sold in the U.S. unlocked, and it will be $700. They just didn't have a release date for it. They just still are saying sometime during the summer. But think about that. $700, yeah, it has, it has. I don't know the exact screen size on the Edge, but I, I'm sure it's, you know, around 6.6, 6.7, 6.8. And, um, and and like this, it's it's going to be curved. It, it's it's just like the Edge Plus. It has that that quote unquote waterfall display that they're starting to call it now. Motorola's calling it that. Huawei calls it that. I think even Xiaomi calls it that. Don't don't quote me on that. But I know Motorola and uh, and Huawei do. Um, and um, and 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 um, the waterfall display actually slopes further down than than what this does. This is just a dual edge like what Samsung has used for years now. Uh, and, and I specifically say dual I specifically say dual edge because it's edge on both sides. If y'all remember the original Note 4 had a Note Edge variant where it was only edged on one side. That was the original Samsung Edge phone. So that's why I make it a point to say dual edge. But um, waterfall the screen actually actually goes over the edge even further. So uh, there is a difference when people say the curved screen and then the waterfall screen. People are starting to call these waterfall as well just to make it easier, which I understand. I, I'm guilty of that too. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of them anyways either way. But um, but it's doable. I mean, you know, it's not a deal breaker if it has it. I mean, you know, you know, just a few years ago it was all the rage. I mean, uh, you know, so I mean it is what it is if it has it. But if it doesn't, it's not a big deal to me. You know, I, I you know, again, I prefer it without it. But um, the Motorola Edge, the standard Edge with the Snapdragon 765, the the, the mid range, you know, um, uh, you know, Motorola's kind of doing basically doing what LG did here with the V60 and the Velvet, just two completely different names. Whereas the Motorola share share similar names. You got the Edge Plus and then the Edge. One has a Snapdragon 865 and one has a Snapdragon 765, but they're physically the same phone almost. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the Edge and Edge Plus are exactly the same externally, whereas right here, the LG Velvet does have a few design external external design differences from the V60, uh, but they still look relatively the same for the most part. Um, the Edge Plus from Motorola, I know, has a 90Hz display. I don't think the regular Edge does, but I could be wrong. If it does, that, that would definitely be an advantage over this phone with the same chipset. Um, but, uh, but rather it does or it doesn't for 700, I still think the Velvet is the better deal. Not just over the Samsung Galaxy A71 5G, but also over the, uh, the standard Motorola Edge because you're still getting the dual screen. You're still getting the dual screen. I mean, that's just, you know, uh, the Edge might also have wireless charging. I know the Samsung does not. Uh, but it might have wireless charging. It might also have expandable memory. No, knowing Motorola, it probably does. Um, you know, so you know if it does, you know, expandable memory. If it does have wireless charging, this has that as well. NFC, um, um, you know, 5G, Snapdragon 765. Again, um, I'm not really going into detail between the 765 and 765G. I uh, kind of, kind of, when I started getting into the and when I got into my last Snapdragon 765 phone, the uh, the Mi 10 Lite 5G, I kind of really, kind of, kind of stopped really going into detail on the differences because I've had so many phones with Snapdragon 765s already, and we're just now halfway through the year. Back in January, I had the first Snapdragon 765 powered phone, the uh, the Redmi K30 5G, if y'all remember that. But um, this is still this is this to me this is like the Motorola Edge. And the Galaxy A71 5G had a baby because this really adopts, you know, the you know best of the best of, of the both worlds from those two phones and just makes makes an overall better unit here. Um, I mean, I, I love the way this phone feels. It feels ultra premium. I mean, man, don't let the chipset fool you. This phone feels ultra premium. Now, granted, we know Blue can come out with a MediaTek Helio powered phone. You know, for two or three hundred bucks, that'll feel just as premium. But you know, material isn't everything. I get that, but this phone is just—I mean, oh my God! Dare I say this is 
this phone, this is the best. I've, I've, I know I've said this previously about other phones, but this phone feels the best in the hand. I've never had a phone that felt this great in the hand. And it's not as slippery as it looks. It looks slippery. It's not. Man, it feels good. Woo! Ladies, man. Ladies, you know the drill. Because this thing right here is hot. Let me do a smell test like Flossie does here. Let's see. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Boy, that smells as velvety soft if I've ever known what velvet smelled like. Ooh, man. All that thing is missing right there, man, is a... Whew, is a squirt of Tom Ford. And this phone would be the best smelling phone in the world. Mmm. But anyways, hit me up in the comments. I hope I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If I if I if I do get the 5G to work, I will I will leave it in the description uh, as well. But y'all be on the lookout. Uh, like I said, get the US version when it comes out because it's it's supposed to include dual screen for 700, which is what I paid for this without it. So the US version is definitely going to be worth it in my opinion. Um, but hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Oh, you know what? One last thing here, too. I want to show y'all something else here, too. Just thought about. I want to show y'all, because LG does have apps. I mean, I know it's bloatware, but they do have apps that are specific for the dual screen here, too. If y'all check that out right there. Like Asphalt 9, Modern Combat 5. Just, uh, just to kind of give you an idea there. Thought that was pretty cool there. Dual screen apps, even though it doesn't come with dual screen. Just thought that was hot there. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. Hit me up in the comments. I know I've already said that three times. Peace.